What is Parkinson's disease? Well, it's a neurodegenerative disorder that attacks the system in a way in which that the dopamine, which is a, a neurotransmitter, actually doesn't produce like it should in the brain. Well, what this means is that dopamine really is uh, what we need to make our motor system go. So what we end up seeing as the dopamine doesn't produce like it should is we start to see some symptoms associated with that. So we might hear a quieter voice, maybe a flatter affect. Uh, tremors are often associated with that. Rigidity is one of the telltale signs. And rigidity is just that feeling of feeling stiff all the time. And then we can also get into some postural and gait, which just means walking um, changes, which then starts to lead to some balance uh, disorders and maybe even falls. How prevalent is Parkinson's disease? In the United States, we see about 50 to 60,000 new cases diagnosed each year, leading to over a million people in our population currently living with Parkinson's disease. It's uh, often diagnosed in the sixth decade of life, so in, in our 60-year-old and, and up, but we can see some early diagnoses even as young as 21 years old. The most common way in which it's diagnosed is a diagnosis of exclusion. So there's no magical big uh, imaging study that can be done right now. And a lot of it is through subjective questioning, a really good objective exam, and then a prescri uh, prescription of medicine to help out with that. So what we typically see is that a person has to present with at least two of the four major symptoms of Parkinson's disease, which are stiffness or rigidity, tremors, uh, postural imbalances and possibly just slowness of movement. Then along with that is more of that subjective questioning where we're finding out if there's uh, sleep disturbances, um, maybe loss of sense of smell, small handwriting. And then lastly is a, a, a course of treatment with um, some type of levodopa or carbidopa, which is a dopamine um, supplement. So we're, our, we're taking that neurotransmitter dopamine, which we know is in a, in a decreased state in those with Parkinson's disease. What are the treatments available for Parkinson's disease? Well, in this day and age, it's actually an exciting time in our scientific world because there are so many new things coming out all the time in ways in which not only to treat the symptoms of Parkinson's, but hopefully to actually treat the disease process. Then really the first thing that might happen is that your neurologist or movement disorder specialist will prescribe you medication. After that, I would highly recommend you get into physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy because it is affecting your motor system, which is the way in which you move, and also your voice. So you might notice you're speaking a little bit quieter or more softly, or your loved one is. The other thing in which to think about is uh, later on down the road, um, deep brain stimulation is another way in which we can treat the symptoms of the disease, although it doesn't treat the cause of the disease. And then there's so many other awesome alternatives that can help enhance the lives of people with Parkinson's. Boxing, uh, there's a new program that's been around for several years called Rock Steady Boxing. There's uh, Power, there's this great program called LSVT Big, which is highly evidence-based practice in which really phenomenal results are seen. We know that tango dancing can help, even music therapy. So there's a lot out there, and we here at Impact Physical Therapy really do wanna be uh, someone that you can call and even ask questions with in navigating this, uh, this disease.